I still have the LG vacuum. And as you can see, this piece is on where the second brush goes. And let me tell you how to put it on because I wasn't able to show you the first time when I assembled it. So let me just dismantle it and then, well, I guess I could show you, hold on. Before I do this mantle, I just wanted to show that I do have the wires coming from the back here. So it plugs into the back, comes down, and there's an area right here for the wire to hook on. So it just clips and clips. And then I have it on an outlet thing because when it's full, I just turn it off. The battery when the battery is full I just turn it off and then turn it on whenever I use it and this is the only thing that's plugged in so it's easier instead of like just pulling it on and off plus it's a surge protector okay <laughs> so I do have the plastic stuff on it still and just, it doesn't stand on its own and I'm going to turn it off while I do this. Okay, so the top piece is right here where the battery is. And then there's this pole. This is the top piece here. The battery top piece. The pole and then the base is here. So there's three pieces. And if you first put this on, just make sure before you put the bottom piece and the top piece together to slip this piece through. So if you already have it on, which I did, you're just going to remove this where it's connected. It's kind of been on there for a while, so it's going to take some wiggling. And there it is. So this piece just comes off. This is where the power is. See this? So that's the top piece. And this is where the attachment hangs from. So this is where the pole is and the base. And this just slides right off right there so what was extra was the second head and then this piece make sure when you hang it this is the base correct make sure when you Place this piece on to hang your extra head onto this first. Because if you don't, and you flip it this way, and it goes on this way, then there's no way you can hang that on. So this piece, just make sure it's facing up towards you. That you can see through it and that it hangs through this like that so voila and voila again when you put it on just make sure you have the base the bottom piece the pole the light gray piece this black the dark gray piece facing up the extra brush and then the top piece will go on like this uh -oh. there it is and then 
plug it back on and then there you have it so again this is the extra battery in case you need it the extra brush is here this goes on just the top piece of the vacuum and you can't take it off while it's on the stand but you just take it off so let me show you this is how it goes on you bring it out on click off I guess I could take this off. Okay, so now that I'm gonna keep it, I should take this off, right? Right. Let's just take it off. So this is the top, and when you're trying to disconnect the stem from the head, you just press this front front button, and then to connect the extra pieces, it's here and then this can it's supposed to be closed but if you want to use it just make sure to lift it forward and again you just press this button here same thing with this one you just pop it right in it comes right out um, and the vacuum does extend so it telescopes and I'm just putting it back in now when I do empty this sometimes I do have to like stick my finger in there because I have long hair and my hair is like shedding so it does get in there and I just have to kind of help it a little bit and the back part so the front is to take this head part out the back part is to telescope it a lot longer now I am 5'6 and it's pretty comfortable for me um, but it's adjustable so it's nice even at standard level it's fine it's kind of short so I do like to extend it when I do have more area to vacuum. Um, it does not have a flashlight, so none of the heads have a flashlight, which I do kind of miss from my old vacuum, but I'm sure that the design doesn't have a, a light because of the battery. It does hold, you know, about what was it 30 minutes or something with one battery so you technically essentially have one hour um, with both I could be wrong that's what I remember um, and then this bottom piece you just disconnect and exchange it depending on what kind of floor you're using so this one that looks like a paintbrush is just a roll-on one is for floors like this. So any um, tile, hardwood, and the power button is up here. So this is your battery level, and it will shut off. The battery will, the machine will shut off once it gets really low. And I've done it a couple times, like I'm vacuuming and I'm in my zone and then I'm like, why is it shutting off? And then you'll turn it on and it's like at one. So it's kind of quiet. And then if you want it to go higher, then you'll just, that's one up. I guess it only goes one. And then if you want, um, so that's back to the basic. And then it's a, it has a turbo feature and you'll just hold on it onto it for three seconds so let's turn it off and then I'm gonna show you the difference between the default setting and then the turbo setting so I'm gonna hold it for three seconds one two three 
Did it do anything? There it is. And you already saw that it took like a battery away, a level away. And it's kind of cool because it kind of self guides itself. So if I turn it on, like it's already going. Like I'm not even doing anything and it's my left hand and I'm right handed. So it's kind of like going on its own already. It's like an automatic thing. Oh look, I have some stuff to pick up over here. So I like to challenge my brain a little bit and try to vacuum with my left hand instead of my right hand um, because it's good to practice. So carpet wise, let's switch this out. Ugh, and I am holding a camera on one hand. So remember this, hooked on nicely. So I'm just gonna take that and replace it back with this one and then zoom a zoom zoom uh, let's see if it's ah! nope so as you can see I've been using my vacuum this is the one for carpet because it has the bristle so it's gonna get into the carpet opposed to the other one where it's just a roll-on Ooh, look at that. Something must have been wet or something. So, let's check this out. This is my rug. And I need this a little higher, so. Here we go, this is the first level. like the first level it's kind of weak for me so I'm gonna go up a notch oh no and it sometimes it stops the rotation so, I guess I have to turn it off and turn it back on. Oops. And I'm doing it with one hand vacuuming, which is my left hand, and then my right hand recording very light very easy but it's sad that the battery is already gone from just using it for just showing you guys um <laughs> still have all the stickers on but i like it it's light it's cool it's pretty <laughs> I do, oh, I messed up this one time. I forgot to put my filter back on once I took it off to wash it. And you see that? So I put, um, what do you call it? Baking soda on the rug. And then I forgot to put the filter on. So, yeah. Remember to put your filter back on. Or else that will happen. No bueno, I don't think I could even like rinse this off. But it still works. And yeah, this just twists off and then filter here. I guess I could wash it again. It's kind of dusty, huh? Um, and I did hear today, thanks for one of my viewers. Um, I forgot your name, J.L. Ruiz, I believe, 
said that there is a coupon for Costco of $140 off. That's better than what I got of $100 off. I think maybe Costco will honor it. I don't know. I might go back and be like, hey, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Oops. Yeah, and this sometimes doesn't go, doesn't align very well. So make sure you have it on so it's charging. And I just have to click this on. And then that's the indicator of it charging. So, yeah. Good luck. Hope you like it. I like it. Um, there can be some feature changes like the light, but I'm okay with it. I got used to switching this on and off, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's it. I like not having to plug in the cord um, since it's cordless. And then I don't have to like stretch it and wind it in like the old vacuums. So that's pretty cool. Toodles, noodles.